Hi everyone. Thank you for coming to my channel. I'm participating in the Bling Video Hop created by Create in Spain. I'm making a birthday card using Avery L. Phenomenal, <laughs> Phenomenal um, stamps and dies. The Avery L. Confetti matte die. I'm just using the outside. I decided not to use the happy birthday. Gina K. Blue Lagoon cards, um, cardstock for the card base. Nouveau Glimmer Paste in Moonstone. Nina Solar White, 80 pound, two panels. Distress Oxide in Tumble Glass and Salty Ocean. And these are just Amazon um, makeup brushes, which were like $15 for a set. And I love them. So first of all, I'm going to be cutting my eight and a half by 11 to um, eight and a half by five and a half, sorry, and making the card base. Using my bone Teflon bone folder, which I love. And using my Misty, I'm going to be stamping all the images from the stamp set on here. I'm making a birthday card. I'm going to an adult um, 60 and 70 year birthday party next week, Friday. So I thought I'd do this video since I needed a card anyway. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be stamping the bowl and chopsticks. The chili pepper, basil leaf, and lime. The person um, that we're going to, they're, they're, I think they're vegetarian, so I didn't put any shrimp or meat on here. This is the first time I'm using the stamp set, so I conditioned it using my fingers by just rubbing it. And I'm going to color with Copic, so I'm using my Memento black ink, which is Copic friendly, to stamp it. I will be um, stamping more basil and lime and chili pepper. So you'll see that in a minute. I'm getting rid of the bowl and the chopsticks because I only need one of those. So I'll be um, doing a total of three each of these items. This is my third stamping of this group. I had do have it sped up three times so that it wouldn't be so long, the video. Okay, so that's all stamped. I'm going to use your, um, have a super birthday and I want to use that on the rim of the bowl. So I'm gonna curl it. I kept this in, you'll see that I really struggled with it to get it exactly right. Um, next time, I just thought of it while I was editing my video that I could put the image on the bottom so that I could, I don't have to go flip it back, flip it back and forth, back and forth. So I'll do that next time because the um, cover is clear. I could have just put the image underneath. So there we go. Finally got it right. And I'll be coloring this using my Copics. Um, there's a lot of blue involved because the birthday recipient is, um, she likes blue. She and he, it's a couple. So I'm just doing one card for the both of them. So I'm using B00 and B02 for the bowl. And I just did the light flicks and then the dark and I'll go back in with the light. I'm keeping the highlight in the middle of the bowl because it's uh, a round vessel. So I'm going to just keep the highlight, the lightest part in the middle to um, make sure that it looks round. Again, this is sped up three times. Just going back and forth, back and forth until I get the shading that I like keeping the dark on the 
outside and then dragging it the lighter on the middle and keeping the middle fairly white. This is super simple coloring. So now I'm going to do the noodles. Actually, what happened is um, I redid this because I couldn't find the bowl. So you'll see that the bowl looks different in the final. The coloring is a little different. So the chopsticks, I'm using E30 and E31, keeping the highlight on the top portion of the chopstick as the light is shining down. The noodles, I'm using E40 and E41. I'm sorry, E41 and E42. Sorry, it's off screen. And I did the same for the broth, but it was so the same color that I decided um, in the other one, you'll notice that it is uh, darker because I had to redo the bowl, like I said earlier. The chili pepper, I'm using R14 and R27. I'm just using two because it's such a small, they're so small. All these items are very small and easy to color. So I'm just using, um, like I said, just two colors of Copic markers and I did sh the shading the highlight on the top and bottom because I wasn't sure where I was going to put it. So for the lime I'm using three YG21, YG06, and YG03 just to get a little more contrast even though it is oops sorry forgot the chopsticks so put the red on there. Okay, let's continue with the line. So again, just three different colors of green. I kept it uh, a, like a lime green. Well, it's a lime, <laughs> so more happy green, more yellow green. And then the basil is a darker green, as you'll see in a little bit. I don't use all the um, elements, but I just wanted to make sure that I had enough for the card. So just keep going back and forth until I like um, the color that it turned out. So the basil, I'm using YG17 and YG67. It's a fairly close um, green to each other, but that's the way I wanted it. I didn't want too uh, much contrast. So I just colored the light. Then I went back with a vein with a darker green and then go back with the lighter one and blend it all out. I kept going back and forth until I got the shading that I liked. Okay, now I'll be cutting it out using my Gemini Junior cutting machine, which I absolutely love. And the And the dies, the coordinating dies. So I'll have to do a few passes because there's multiple of the lime and basil and chili pepper. Excuse my head that keeps popping in. I want to get it exactly right. You'll notice that when I do the sandwich of the Gemini that I did it. Um, oh, I forgot the tops of the chili pepper. So putting the green, just used one green. Um, you'll notice that I put it in the wrong way and it did cut into the magnet sheet, which normally I don't do, but it didn't harm it. But you'll see that it's facing down, which is not the correct way to do it. So I'll, I wanted to show that to you. So next time, be sure when you do the sandwich that it's facing towards the cutting plate, not the magnet. So I'll just keep doing this until I get all the elements out. Oh, sorry, I'm doing <laughs> now I'm cutting the confetti mat, which is fun. It's a fun mat. Now I'm doing it correctly. The cutting portion is facing the cutting plate. 
and now I have to get all the little things off the, the holes, all the little pieces of paper. And I like using a lint roller to get any small pieces. You'll see me cleaning it up. I use my Spellbinders tool also to poke them out. Putting all my cut pieces to the side. And you'll notice that my, uh, using the Distress Oxide Tumble Glass, just using the makeup brush, using my bowl as a guide on where to sponge it or brush it, using a different brush for the salty ocean. You'll notice that I also um, didn't keep the little holes on the bottom um, white the perimeter but it's fine I like it as it is and I'm going to be putting the moonstone glitter nouveau glitter over it in the description below I will have the next video um, link for the next person youtuber I really wish you would go and do the whole blog if you stay to the end um, wait for a coupon code for my shop it, I'm going to let that dry overnight. Okay, now it's the next day. I'm going to glue everything to the front. Because it's um, glitter, I'm using a wet glue. So I love using my Lawn Fawn glue tube. So putting it on an angle. Using my phone as a weight. And now I'm just putting where I think I want the pieces to go. And I don't want to cover the sentiment. I love using my tweezers. To get my fingers out of the way. And I'm just gluing all my elements together, lifting things up as needed. So my chopsticks will be glued down next. Living in Hawaii, we eat pho a lot. Um, I'm not a fan of it, but the couple that we are going to the party loves pho. So this is a perfect... I'm so glad I could use this um, stamp set. You could find most of the um, items in my um, shop. Again, everything will be linked below. And again, stay to the end, watch to the end for the coupon code. It'll be um, worth it. I really hope you um, subscribe if you're not um, a subscriber. And welcome to all my new subscribers because I um, did the encouragement hop last time and i received a lot of new subscribers so welcome i hope you enjoy with my channel okay now i'm gonna put the panel on to the gina k card base i'm going to decorate the inside very simply i like using my phone as a weight for the glue and it dries really quick anyway so for the inside, I'm just doing something super simple using um, have a super day. No, sorry, have a phenomenal day and using the elements from the front, the lime, the basil and the chili pepper. And I'm just going to stamp them in black using my Versafine Nocturnal Ink. I hope you enjoy. See, have a phenomenal day. Fa. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to check out the next video blogger. Um, it'll she he she, he or she will be linked in my description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Please check out my other videos.
Thank you so much. Bye.